It's the kind of culmination of a project I've been working on for about two years now, um, uh, focused on Down syndrome and not just the people who are affected by Down syndrome but their families as well and their extended families. Uh, we're due to launch a book uh, March the 21st which is World Down Syndrome Day and um, obviously starting the exhibition here at Summer Hall at the same time. For the last five years I've been interested in um, challenging stigma through photography. I started attending monthly singing and dancing classes with the children and taking photographs and at that stage I wasn't really sure it was going to develop into a substantial you know, project or an interesting project and I remember actually sitting outside of the car one day and thinking I've just taken photographs of kids in a playgroup, this is not really that interesting. But then I realised that that's exactly what was interesting about it because the kids were just like any other kids and so I became inter more interested in the subject more interested in the extended family and how parents and friends reacted to being in a relationship with the children and then uh, got, got in contact with Down Syndrome Scotland and the project really started to grow from there. The idea was to try and get them to reminisce and take them back to life experiences so I could capture something of that in the photographs. I mean you can never ever um, be there or know exactly how somebody felt at the time, but it brought me very close to, to how they and were I just feeling. just cuddled him and yeah. that, was, that was it. That's sort of what I needed, really. From, you take pictures of that Yeah, yeah. That. Just um, from the but nurse, you just that, to, you know, had a real cuddle, didn't we? Yeah, when your little <laughs> baby, you had a lovely little cuddle. Yeah, yeah. is it my turn? Yeah. <laughs> the book actually contains um, a lot of black and white still photographs, you know, shooting black and white and um, extracts from what people have actually said, you know, during the interviews, and, and good and bad. Because of the way Eve is, it's been a really positive experience for me, and I think it's made me a much better person. It's made me um, embrace more of life. 6% actually came from a statistic uh, from the, the UK, Psych actually English Cytogenetics Register, where they um, quoted in a report in 2010 that of all the pregnancies which are diagnosed as being Down syndrome, 92% uh, are actually terminated, uh, and another 2% uh, um, either die during childbirth or, or stillbirth. So 6% of people diagnosed with Down syndrome actually result in a live birth. So that's where the statistic came from, and the majority of people who I've kind of you know, raised that statistic with have been quite shocked by, by the size of the number. It's relatively small. Six percent.